Hey guys, what is up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com. Today we are talking general aviation airplane myths, and the airplane myth today is that your airplane is actually waterproof, but it's not. So for those of you unfamiliar, whether you're flying a fabric airplane or a metal airplane, there's probably going to be drain holes located all over that aircraft. Now, the problem is, is when you're flying a new airplane, a home-built airplane, maybe somebody forgot to put the drain holes in, and as the airplane sits out on the ramp with rain, it's going to fill up with water. Now that's a problem in your flap. It's a really big problem if that happens to your flight controls, like your elevator or your ailerons. If they become unbalanced, they could flutter in flight and you could have a really, really, really bad day, as in like the airplane crashing. So drain holes are super important. Not only do you want to check on your pre-flight that they're actually installed on the aircraft, they actually exist in the first place, but on older airplanes where they obviously exist, like old 1960s and 70s Cessnas, you might want to check that they're still in fact functioning, especially ones in the belly where they might get clogged up with dirt. If we come down here, we can see that, yeah, we need drain holes on our belly because the belly will fill up with water too. You think your windscreen and where the wing root meets the fuselage and everything is actually waterproof? It may not be, and there may be lots and lots of water in that belly, and guess what happens when you rotate? All that water rushes to the tail. You may not have enough elevator authority to actually push your nose back down, and that could be a very bad day for you. So. Check that you have drain holes installed in your aircraft all over the place, anywhere water could ever potentially get in. And I promise you, water gets into places you think it never could. So anywhere water could potentially get in there, we put a drain hole. This elevator, for example, has a drain hole up here as well as drain holes in the back because it could be sitting in this position, it could be sitting in that position. Water could get in through the hinge and we want that to drain out. We do not ever want weight or water to be in our flight controls. And also, pay attention to this if you're flying somewhere where you leave the airplane outside, it rains on it, and you come back to it and it's cold out and the water's frozen in there, it may appear that there's no water in there, but there's weight in your flap or in your aileron or in your elevator or somewhere in the airplane you don't want it to be. So pay very special close attention on your pre-flight if the plane has been left outside. Even if it's been hangered, there could be a leak in the hangar dripping onto the airplane and ultimately dripping down in the fuselage. You would be very surprised, or maybe not, to see how many airplanes just are not waterproof. The vast majority are not. So special thing to pay attention to on your pre-flight. If you want to see more airplane myths put to the test and busted, then go ahead and click on the link in the description below. This is an entire series. You can check out the playlist of airplane myths being busted here on the Fly 8 Mike Alpha YouTube channel. We're posting tons of videos here about airplane myths. And if you guys have any myths in your mind that you want put to the test, any ideas for future myth busting videos, certainly leave that in the comments below. We would love to hear about it and see what myths there are that you want to see put to the test. And we'll post them right here on the Fly 8 Mike Alpha YouTube channel. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and if you cannot fly every day then fly 8mikealpha.com and we'll see you guys in the next one